over. Cause you, you ain't. Uh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it is Dre and Bro coming to you as we do every Tuesday at seven thirty, and it's seven thirty on the dot. We got some stuff for y'all tonight. <laughs> we got some stuff. Um. I was every one day, give y'all a couple of minutes. Just a few. Just a few. Hope you guys had a good day. Today, actually, this is the first time I'm seeing my husband. Huh? Yeah. He left for work, I was asleep, and he just got home. Oh, yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He, yeah. See, you see how he do? He didn't even realize that. This is the first time I seen him today. Yeah. Yesterday, did I get to see you at all? Yeah, for a I second. Man, a I crashed. Second. As as he I crashed when he house. got in the house. As soon as I got in the house, I went right to, and got in the bed. So I was tired as long. Yes, and then the day before that, I didn't see him at all. Yeah. Y'all see how marriage life is treating us? <sighs> What's going on? What's Gucci? Oh, hey, um, Jermaine, hey, stay, stay, stay here, Jermaine. We got a surprise Stay for you. Stay tuned. We got surprises tonight. Stay, Jay. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Tonight's topic is combustible communication. And what that is, is just some kind of defiled way of um, communicating. Basically, uh, when you're in relationships and you have one of the the partners one of the teammates may say something and the other teammate may take it as something totally different and not share that communication with their partner and they let that fester and fester and can be mad at your partner the whole time and your teammate don't have no idea what happened or what they did Case in point, I won't even tell y'all yet. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let the conversation go a little bit. But so so, say the word for me, baby. Say the word for me. Combustible, combustible. Communication, right? Mm -hmm. So you know when there's a buildup and a pipe and it just, boom, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we talking about. Sometimes we can keep things bottled up mm -hmm. and then boom. Right, whereas a simple conversation might have eased the pressure on our pipe. Um, so it can be a situation where you're feeling some type of way, right? And you can be holding in because you don't want to be, I don't know, it can be with many reasons. I don't want to be burdened, I don't want to be petty, I don't want to be so I'm just not gonna say nothing. So, how many times are you not gonna say anything and you just let it sit mm. and it sits mm. and it sits again? Pressure inside of a pipe. Eventually, Waiting to boom. explode. So it can be something minor as a cup was in the sink and raw, a pipe burst. Mm -hmm. but, you you know, look, but you know what? Well, I'm sorry. You know what's going to happen though. That cup was in the sink and your spouse didn't say nothing about it, but it irked them to a core. Right? Then what's the next thing? Something else happened. They don't say nothing. And it just builds and builds and builds and builds. And that pressure is what makes that explosion. Yeah. So something, and so the other party might be like, you spazzing over this cup in the sink? But it's not. It's all of the extra buildup that was just sitting there. Right. And uh, and it all comes out over this little cup. It's not even got nothing to do with the cup. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're talking about tonight. Like, we, like how do you ease that? And how do you, or how do you guys, if you've had this situation or been through the situation, how do you handle that? Mm, 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 mm. Do you have those conversations? Or are you an example um, and let things build up and you notice and maybe just just been brought to your attention that I'm um, like, you know what? Yeah, that's that's what happened with us. You know, um, so bottom line is a similar situation like that happened with us. But again, we we let it out before it built up. You know what I'm saying? So we ended up talking it out and understood there were some misunderstandings um, in the midst. So once we got that cleared, it was, guess what? The pressure that was building up in our pipe just ceased. Stop. You know what I'm saying? Just stopped. And um, because it was like a, oh, oh. okay. <laughs> you know how to, when, it, when and the pressure built up in the tea kettle and to make that whistling noise? That's how it's like, 
mom was like a witch and they're like, okay, because it could be a situation where it's the other person didn't see it that way, right? And it was like, you know what? I never looked at it that way. You know, um, if you, I don't know if you guys have ever played the game telephone where somebody whispers in your ear a message and the next person whispers and it goes down until this person releases what that message is. A lot of times in relationships, your spouse may say something to you and you hear it a totally different way. And you're interpreted in that way and it's like, well, what the heck did you say that for? Or why would you say that to me? And you don't, you know, express that. And they meant something totally different. Right, right. And... The whole time you have been mad or had an entire conversation with yourself about how angry you are about what this person did. And that person has no idea what they did yeah. because they didn't say what you heard. Right. Right. And um, yep, we always say we can be transparent. So we're going to give you an example. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. All right. One day this weekend. <laughs> um. I was heading out. Ronnie was coming in. So Ronnie said, You just leaving? I said, Yes. She said, We get in. We haven't seen you all day. We go, you know, so I drive where you got to go. We'll go with you. Yeah. And so and I said, We're not. Maybe you see me this morning. That ain't what he said. I said, you seen me this morning. <laughs> you so, seen me this morning. No. I said, My oh, baby, you seen me this morning. <laughs> see, see. So, so, so what I'm saying is, it can be interpreted. So the way she took it as, I was saying, damn, I just seen you this morning. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's how she interpreted That's what I heard. Yeah. Like, oh, well, you know what? You know what Ronnie did? Oh, okay. I'm going to go in the house. I don't need to be bothered with you. If you already saw me, you don't want to see me. Da, 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 da. You know how women go. Da, 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 da. But I never said that to him. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> Went in the house. Well, him, being him, was waiting for me in the car. Like, come on. You know, let's go. Meanwhile, okay, I go, I get in the car, I take him, but this is festering, festering the whole time. Days, weeks <laughs> go by, and I'm the whole time mad about it. Oh, you don't want to see me? You you know, it, it ain't like that. If I'm if you think I'm pressing you or whatever, I mean, it ain't all like that. Da, 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 da. It just came out yesterday or the other day. Right. Guys, cause I I forgot what happened, but I I made a comment and it was like, you know what? If you don't want to see me, you ain't got to be around me. You go do what you got to do, and da 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 da. And it was like, baby, that ain't what I said. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, so um again, so all that was festering, and only thing I was saying was, no, baby, I, th- I seen you this morning because we did see each other this morning. I mean that morning, but um, one second, you guys. Hold up, the phone is ringing. But yeah, so all that to be said is that you have to be really, really, really cognizant of mm-hmm. what you're saying to your partner, how you're saying it, and if mm-hmm. they're taking it the wrong way. Also, you have to know that sometimes no, when you're ahead. saying st- hey, hello, it's a show happening right now. <laughs> so sometimes you also have to know that when you... Are do- I now going. someone is at the door. Can you, believe, can you believe this? Anyway, you also have to know that sometimes Did communication, all communication is not good communication. Sometimes you have communication and people are tired of it. Have you ever been in the situation where you got to bring up something every day? Mm. Every day? Um. Well, this bothered me, so I want to talk about it. Then your spouse gonna get tired of you talking about it, right? Hey, hey. <laughs> so we have company, you guys. We got fam that just came in the building. I, I call them couple of the year. I think, yeah, I she think does. they couple yeah. of the year. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> it's the McAllister family, y'all. What's up, man? It's the What's up? family. What's up? What's up? Bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's up, bro? What's up, sis? So what's tonight we're gonna do something a little different. What do y'all think works best? Y'all think you should call? We'll bring you on the line so no, they I can see y'all on the screen, us. or y'all want to chill with us? We had this whole conversation. 
It's a family affair. <laughs> Pull these chairs on the back side. Probably we'll move up. So, what we're talking about tonight, y'all, is combustible communication. Oh. And what that is, is when your spouse thinks, when your spouse thinks that you said something that you actually didn't say, and they take it and communicate it in an entirely different way, in an entirely different form, and they get angry about that. Mm -hmm. And hold on to it and let it fester, and then it comes in a whole argument. Okay, Angel. My phone is dying. Angel, while your phone is dying, okay, hold on one second. That is Miss Rochelle Monique McAllister. <laughs> and that is James McAllister. Your two new members of Elevate. They are in the yes. building tonight. Elevate. So <laughs> again, y'all, E E C C that's tight. I'm gonna stand in the back. Alright. I'm gonna stand in the back. Nah, he must have left. What'd you come up with on here? Okay, Man. so oh, it's a have it's you guys been in a situation? <laughs> and and, I, and I, I'm going to talk to the McAllisters on this one. Have you been in a situation? And I'm going to try to move this back, see if I can get... This is the first time we try to get everybody in here. Oh, kind of rough. It's kind of rough, okay? No, have <laughs> you guys been in a situation where, let's say, something small has erupted in your spirit alone? Maybe James keep cutting hair in the house and he leave all the hair around the living room and you get sick of that. <laughs> but you don't say nothing about it. You just walk on and let it go. And then the next thing happened. He might have all this company in your house and you're angry about it. Or she may have done something that, that angered you. And you don't say anything. I don't see my husband. Oh, no, I moved on. Oh, okay. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Do you hold that? Okay, we could try that. Whatever y'all are saying, we won't be able to see it. But y'all just hold y'all thoughts. Okay, do you hold that mm -hmm. or do you talk about it immediately mm -hmm. each time something happens? Mm -hmm. That's that's for y'all. I'm mm -hmm. asking y'all that question. Oh, the Pacalistas. So do you guys... Do you, do you talk? Do you have a conversation every single time something goes on? Mm -hmm. Do you hold it in and let it build up and build up and build up and build up until you just? Or what is your suggestion? Like, how do you handle that situation? How do you handle it? You know, sometimes um, there, there are different ways to handle things. You know, depending on where you are. Mentally and emotionally, mm -hmm. um, we try to work on the fruit of the spirit. So sometimes we try to operate in self control. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we try to op long suffering, mm -hmm. and so um, you know. And there's there's meekness and there's kindness, and so there may be times that something is done that you're trying to overlook, say it's not that serious, and yeah. and just. You know, I I love I love her for her perfections and her imperfections, mm -hmm. and so so you may be, you know. So Corinthians tells us that love suffers long, mm -hmm. right? Um, and it bears all things and it endures all things and it never fails. So you just may be enduring, mm -hmm. or you may be bearing, and just you know, it's not that serious, or it's not the time, or it's you know, or just accepting. That's another thing. Accepting your mate mm -hmm. for them, and if that's just how they are, and that's how, and you knew how they were when you married them, mm -hmm. then it is what it is. Right. So we got a comment. We got a comment on the floor. It says that you need to talk tell immediately. Them immediately. Don't let it fester. Don't let it fester, because it'll become more irritating okay. the longer that you hold it. Yeah. That's a possibility, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you're learning how to love anew, mm. you understand? That's if, big. If you're determining your worth and your wealth for that person, I love them past them. I love them in spite of them. It's not that serious. Like our brother said earlier, GC, one's an introvert, the other's an extrovert. Right. We're mm -hmm. different. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we have to love 
the differences about each other. Right. What's and, up, Amy? And, and so we may not have to talk about every little thing right. because it's not that serious. Or it can become pressure. Mm. You know, now see, so, yeah, because you, so, you can have one, <clears throat> one person in a relationship that likes to communicate. This is what Dre and I were talking about. When you have one person that doesn't like to communicate that much and it gets irritating to that person. To exactly. That person and it can become precious. So so that's when I, I, I look at things like um I might call impasses. Right? Mm -hmm. So there are things that you may feel like, okay, I got to talk about it now. There may be something happening. The other thing, that was little, that was small, right? But you know what? I I didn't say anything, and now they just keep, you know. And now it's growing. That's right. when it becomes it's just, combustion. It's just the, it's just the more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now. And talk about the need and need. So, my wife is is referring to. I met an incredible couple that my wife has been friends with for a long time. Mm -hmm. The other day, and he's an apostle. And she's His a wife is a pastor. She's a pastor. Uh -huh. And it was just supposed to be an introduction, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, hello, how you doing? You know, nice to meet you. But they gave us turned into a five-hour meeting. Divine wow. to treasure, something to treasure. Divine. They gave to us. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, hear it. Yeah. Share, share. Okay, with that so, is so, so the need and need. And now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going through this, Dre, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm sitting here, and you know how you having an out-of-body experience, right? And I'm sitting here saying. And we begin to devote. And it's my first time meeting these people. Mm -hmm. Now she's known. We're talk about the need and need for need right? for years. But I'm talking about how we got to the need and need. So so we ain't got all night. I hear you. <laughs> but, I'm, but but now we start. Show only last but see, half hour. But 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 we started. We started. The conversation went, and we started talking about all kind of deep and personal things. Right. And mm -hmm. I'm sitting, sitting here saying, how we get here with these people I just met. Yeah. Right. So they okay. gave us. A Something to treasure, and that was so. The, so, so they they pass they 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 counsel all kind of they pass they he's an apostle she's a pastor so they they counsel pastors and all kind of other different people. Okay, so we began to really open up and talk talk about so the the conversation with people I just met got real real deep right. like real quick and I'm like wait it went real quick it was five hours but yeah <laughs> on the first meeting so we got to talking about some things areas that we haven't found ways. We haven't gotten past yet areas that were struggles for us. That was that was difficult terrain for us. Um, that 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 we found as a revolving problem, as something constant. That no matter how much we talked about it, it it, it kept it, it kept it persisting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they they offered us a solution, talking about the need to need, and so then they be saying, wait throughout the week. Right, write, write things, down. write things down mm -hmm. that bother you or trouble you throughout the week. Mm -hmm. Right, and, look and at each other and schedule and, and schedule, schedule a, time to talk about. a time to talk. And so you tell your mate that we need a, I need a need a need. Yeah, right. and make sure I, that you, uh, right. when you say what right. it is that you have to say, she has to repeat back what it is that right. you said. Vice so, versa. So, so make sure that they make right. sure. Right, so 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 that, so they said. they get so real clear. The that's issues that you idea. had, so yeah. you wrote them down throughout the week. Right. So, so things that bothered you that you had that. Thank you, Ebony. That, yeah. that you had agree. that you hadn't gotten past. Idea. Right? Huh? I was telling Ebony. She said that's a great idea. Yeah, I, yeah. I think yeah. I agree. And yeah. we so, have, so, haven't so, done it yet. But to sit that because this, this just happened so on Sunday. So this just happened on Sunday. Okay. So, so, so that's that, a good communication. Right. So write it down. You know, sit, sit knee to knee. Get two chairs. Sit right in front of each other. Almost hold hands to. You know, to look directly in their eye mm -hmm. and tell them the issue that you that you had, and and, don't and, judge. and and what you need is for is for your mate to speak back to you because you need to understand. They need to they need to speak back to you what they heard. And this right. is and this is why I think that that's important because again, um, you guys weren't here when we had the conversation about um, Dre pulled up to the house. No, Dre was pulling out and I pulled up. And I said, hey, you about to leave? Where are you going? We hadn't seen each other since we woke up that morning. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, I'm just making a run real quick. I said, well, get in the car. I'll take you. We, haven't, we miss you. We haven't seen you. He was like, I just saw you this morning. Well, Ronnie heard, I don't need to go with you. I saw you already. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. All he was saying was, it's okay, baby. You, you know, relax. And you relax. Yeah. You've been gone all day. Mm -hmm. I got it. 
But that's not what I heard. Right. So, again, holding it in, holding it in, holding it in, and then it comes out later. Well, if we did a knee to knee, then we probably could have talked about that to resolve it. To resolve it. Yeah. However, there again, in that situation, there is also that time where... Dre might get tired of needing in. Like, you got a problem with me every week, it seems. You got a whole... What, I mean, what are you doing in that case? I'm writing it down every week. We on our knees. And, like, this week, but you I think did... That, yeah. this, but I think the, if you're being don't, intentional don't be about patty. it, if you're yeah. being intentional about it and you're wanting to get to a resolve, mm -hmm. that's then the, that's I think that that's the key. Because we want to... You know, at the end of the day, the enemy's going to continue to come right. in oh, and yeah. out to try to destroy. So we got to be intentional about making sure that we go to each other once a week to try to determine what those things are that are you know getting up underneath our skin so that we can bring resolve to it because that's very important mm, so mm, the resolve mm. is important because if it festers then it becomes a real big mountain hill of something that we really look up and be like you know what I literally feel like you know some other things to my spouse which we don't want that we want to get yeah. to the resolve so we have to be intentional about it yes so yeah. that's so um I used to always say that another sign that this this junior here was meant to be is because not 90% of the time, not 80%, but literally 100% of the time, thus far, every time I said, you know what, I'm going to talk to Ronnie about a situation, mm -hmm. right, that might have bothered me, or maybe I feel just coming around. When I get in her presence, we have a car, and we're, I get in her presence, first thing she says, babe, and she has started talking about what I wanted to talk to her about. Mm -hmm. A hundred percent of the time, wow. I swear to you, it's the craziest. Exactly. That's true. Exactly. That's you know, mm -hmm. um, like like it's, it just happened. This conversation came up because last night we were sitting here looking at TV, whatever, and um, and I guess again it was just in the air, but we wasn't saying nothing about it. Mm -hmm. I think we might have been trying to suppress it because we just looking at TV, talking about the show, this mm -hmm. and the other. So then finally, she just made a comment. She was like, uh, "I forgot exactly what she, but I think she wants to say something like." Do you still feel the same about me? That's how I started. Mm -hmm. And I was like, where are you going with this? She started pouring out. And I was just shaking my head like, wow. We about to have this conversation that I wanted he to wanted have. He wanted to have it anyway. Wow. And I was like, wow. <laughs> so it came out, you know, and, and we touched. And so it technically, was it was almost like a knee a knee. knee. <laughs> Except for right. we were just on she the couch. Yeah, she was on the couch. I was in right. the chair. And couch to couch. We got couch to couch. couch, couch. couch. <laughs> so, so there's a question on the floor, guys. Yeah. What's that? It says, if... I like to leave my shoes at the front door and my wife wants me to put them in the closet. How do you resolve that? Whoa. Uh, and Ebony said, if you don't put them stinky shoes in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can do it and remove it yourself. Or if it's that bothersome, okay, so, I think maybe they should agree. I right, so, so, away. so let me, let me, uh, What's up, uh, what's up, Cap? So my thing is this. Ronnie and I actually had a similar situation. Not necessarily with the shoes. We, oh, I was we, about to say, what? We just, <laughs> no, no. We just started the shoe at the door thing. We just started it. But I think she's done with it already. Uh, I'm done with it. Yeah. So, oh, but, so we done. have a, I guess, a stand or something at the top of the stairs. So when I used to come in a house, well, I, I think I kind of started doing it again anyway. But I used to come in the house, I put all my stuff there, my keys, my work ID. Everything. Because when I leave out the house, I know where it's at. I grab it, I can leave. I grab it. Mm -hmm. Whereas Ronnie, look at this. That you, ain't what it's it, for. That's not what that's <laughs> for. It's, it's making a mess or whatever, you know, how she felt about it. My thing is, I'm explaining to her that it's convenient for me to grab it because I always, it's a designated space for me. It has candy. It's a candy dish. It's nice. It's but nice. It, 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 at the time, there was no candy in it. <laughs> it was a nice dish. He yeah. threw everything. So I had mail, my keys. keys and, man, the mail thing, I, I go with her. But my, <laughs> yeah, I'm with her. But the, my keys, my badge, everything that I know I need every day to go out the house. So I know where it's at. If I start putting my keys on in the room and I might put my badge on that side of the room, you know what I'm saying? So that was for me, and I was trying to explain to her the reasons why I do it. Her reason says she just didn't like the look. Um so I forgot how we resolved it. Oh, we had a counseling session. And um did. yeah, we had a counseling session. Um her aunt's a bishop. So she came through the council, whatever, and we brought that up. And she pretty much said, like, okay, is it it's almost like, is it more important, this is how I took it, is it more important that that dish looking pretty or is it more convenience 
that he knows where all the stuff is that leaves out. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a problem with that, then you have to, he, she was telling Ronnie, then find something else or something that he still can have a designated area he put his stuff mm -hmm. because she guess she understood I was just grabbing because it's closer to the door and I won't forget, lose, whatever. So that was her solution. And I want to say Ronnie did go and find something. I don't know where it's at, but she found something it's else. <laughs> um, but I don't know where it's at. So now my keys and stuff is back up there. <laughs> it's in the spot. <laughs> yeah, it's in the spot. <laughs> but it's not in the dish anymore, said, though. Terrence yeah. said, put candy in the dish now. She did. <laughs> I did. She did. I That's candy. candy. So I don't put my stuff in the dish anymore. It's just sitting beside the dish now. So um, she hasn't said anything about it. So you know what? You, because this is, this is what's happening. I'm learning that there are some things that are not worth talking about anymore. You got couples that bring up. <laughs> you, you bring up all this stuff. Like, all this, the, shoe, the shoes bother me. Why don't you put your shoes away? Or why don't you put this? This is for candy. Don't put your keys in there. I started annoying myself. I was like, he going to get sick of hearing me. So after a while, go ahead, James. I was like, <laughs> James got something to say. <laughs> I think I'm learning early. Everything is not worth bringing to the table. So, so back to the, back to the back to the shooting. So, uh, we just got the, the the rug shampoo the other day, right? And so Ronnie said, you know what? Since we got we going we about to start now, not having the shoes in the carpet, so we can tell the guests. So she really got this thing to put upstairs, put shoes on. Now, I'm not saying I 100. Now going back to reset. That makes sense to me, but that's what she wanted. It wasn't worth going back and forth. It's a shoe rack. That's what you want, babe? Put the shoe rack down there. <laughs> you know? So she put the shoe rack down there, whatever. We, you, we worked on it for, it's been a week or two weeks? No, a week, I think. A week? Mm -hmm. And the other day she came, you like, she, she <laughs> said, Forget the shoe rack. You don't want to the shoe rack. Because he's standing, he's standing literally coming in the house with all this crap. Trying to take off his shoes. <laughs> you know, he like, uh, uh, I'm just like, you know what? This ain't worth it. This ain't worth it. Forget the carpet. There's a word that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. What's that? Selfless. 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 Yes, selfless. For y'all, selfless. So, you know, when you love someone, mm -hmm. if you love them, right. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. you know, lust is about self fulfillment. Yes. Yep, yep. Fact. Love is giving. Yeah. You understand? I like that. For God so loved the world that he gave. Right. Man. Love is giving. Right. Right. Okay. If you love someone mm -hmm. and your and your and your vow is to make them happy or to show them how much you love them. Mm -hmm. So that so each of whatever the question, I don't care if it's the shoes, the keys, mm -hmm. The bed. Mm. 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 <laughs> Baby, you put up. See, see, you can't just throw it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I had to no, 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 no. See, you took the conversation way up. Y'all want to talk been, about, let's talk about the bed. You could be talking about making the bed. Yes. <laughs> or you could be talking about a whole lot of other things. Oh, in the bed. Hey. You know. This is, so, this is. What we do, we you understand? Talk. So, yes. so, but if you're if you're if you're selfless, right. and if you love them, yes. then you care to please them. Mm -hmm. Then it really becomes what's more important. Is it is it that serious? Can I get past it? It's not that serious. Not that serious. I don't, you know what yeah. I mean? If that's what mm -hmm. make them happy, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. do your thing. Right. But now, if you if you know, so it's a source of self determination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If, if if they really like it that much, it ain't that big, ain't you? I mean, so it's so it's giving, right? Yeah. But if it's that big, then the other one need to say, you know, it's a giving, it's a tug and pull, it's a, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. if, if if you care about each other, if you love each other, if love is being expressed heart to heart, breast to breast, if it's going, and then somebody gonna say it ain't that serious, man. Go ahead, keep your shoes you just, there. You know what I mean? You just the, gotta be careful not not to have all that stuff build up to yeah, where yeah, it's can. not that serious, not that serious. But it's see, not but see, okay. but then, but then, <laughs> but then that's a trampling. Now you become a trash can. Yeah, because now somebody just throwing somebody all just that stuff on you. Mm -hmm. And because you're taking it, now see, now, now the person that that's doing that to you problem. don't love you. Yeah. So, real talk. No, real no. talk. Real talk. Yeah, because exactly. they're not considering. That's, Hallelujah. You know, they're that's another word. Separate. They're not considering. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you know. Y'all writing this down? So, <laughs> so this is another thing. So, I look at um, one thing I was talking earlier today. Um, God, you said it. Uh, anyway, take your turn, time to learn. 
you know, your spouse or whatever, right? So again, even though again, Ronnie and I have known each other for a long time, there's still a short period of time for our relationship. Dating, right? yeah, we learned this is new. <laughs> right. So what thing I have on though? Ron is borderline perfectionist, right? Oh. <laughs> no, no, real talk. So, I want it. I want it. Yeah. No. And when I say that is, when I the reason I say borderline, because <laughs> Ronnie can feel a certain way, like right now, she can look at our living room, and be like, I think this needs to go here. This plant needs to go there. You're right. right. Yesterday we were having a serious conversation. Yeah. I literally got up and moved the couch yeah. over to. We were having a serious and, conversation. And, 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 yeah. we it was talking. irking you that bad. She was just had this. Stop the conversation. I'm talking about an inch or two. Like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sitting in a chair. <laughs> and, it, and it made her feel better. Didn't it? She got I, up. I moved it better than you. Then sat down and said. But what did you okay, do? Okay, baby. I was I didn't know what because I'm sitting in the chair when she get up and walk toward me and I said to go to so I'm, first I thought she was gonna pick something up and I seen her start pushing the and I'm starting like what she, so I'm like baby wow she say like, it was just irritating me so I, I said know, maybe but okay, I was sitting okay, right here no like I could have you he know said, I could have moved the couch yeah I'm, I'm like know. it's okay yeah she was like no it's okay it just irritating because I didn't want to be like no right there no push right there yeah. no, so, so I, just, I I might have a problem y'all yeah. okay but here's That's the thing if I say that is because I know that. I, a lot of most of the times, whatever you want, baby, because it's going to end up coming back. She's never because she's not going to be satisfied. Oh, so with it, no, no, with the shoe rack, I knew that was going to Let her fix it, right? Let her fix it. Did you just say that? Just no, I would not be satisfied. Did you just, you just, you just what did you mean? I don't think you heard yourself say that. Did you hear yourself say that? But, yes, yeah, yes, but, yes, but, but, but then, what about the authenticness of you? Hey, He's that's not why I let her, that's why I let her do her thing. She's authentic. That. Part of you. Because okay. Marnie so will change I, I just, I will just accept that because you're gonna still go and do it when he leaves. So, yeah. well but I fix. Right I, I, and then I he probably won't notice that you moved. Yeah, exactly. Just but, but, still, but, it's still yeah. Took care. but I do sit and I, I and meditate right word, and I think about the things that I do that might irk yeah. my husband. Like I literally sit and be like, you know what? That was dumb. You don't yeah. have to be like that. So oh, that's, the aftermath. Yeah. It's aftermath. Yeah. It's like 2020, like a month. Yes. I'm not trying and she's, to. When I say she's a hundred on that, she's like I say, it'd be times I'd be like, you know what? Oh my goodness, when I get in the house, I gotta say because it, it could have been something over the weekend. <laughs> but I just sit in because again, yeah, I think we're the same. We be like thinking about stuff like, man, talk about this. Like, okay. man. When I come in and I want to say something, she already be like, babe, you know what I was thinking? <laughs> you know, da, da, da. and I be like, wow. But that's that's one of the things I love about number starting to cool though, it. Yeah, it's really yeah, it cool. is cool. He but, be like, woo, his eyes get all big. Like, like you was thinking about that. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, 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 me too. That? yeah. <laughs> and not just just not not even just you know debatable conversation. It could be something on my mind, but like you know, what's a big good idea when I get home and talk to one about the idea. It could be it could be something about the show. It can be you know one of the businesses or something. Yeah. And I'd be like, well, she said, babe, you know what I was thinking. <laughs> we should start as such. I'm like, God, dang it. We do it all. We do it all the time. I mean, time, literally. I'm like, God, dang. It's That's really right. scary. But what I was gonna say, what I was gonna say is, when I when I made a comment about Ronnie, is I'm giving you an example. So when she got the shoe rack or whatever case, I wasn't, gonna, babe. That's what you wanna do. Even though it didn't make, it might not have made no sense to me. But what I knew was gonna happen was it was gonna get be an eyesore to her eventually, and she's gonna get rid of it. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes you gotta yeah. So it didn't last alone. She got frustrated. We was trying to put it together. I don't know. I don't know the pieces of anyway. So she was like, forget. It, we just gonna use one. So in my head, I'm like, oh, that's definitely not gonna work. It's be too many shoes. You know, what I'm saying I'm already playing in my head, but it's not worth to go. Babe, why would you got it anyway? We gonna da-da-da. He just know eventually yeah. I'm gonna yeah. be like, forget it. She came and said like, do we really need that shoe rack? <laughs> I was like. You don't want it, baby. <laughs> Just forget because she came on stage. Matter of fact, she came on stage, she had her shoes on. Her daughter, her daughter was like, Mom, you got the shoes on? She's like, I ain't. You know, she was like, I'm done with it. So, so I know her. And we, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to know her more. Yeah, definitely. So I knew that was going to happen. So it could have been, we could get into a big debate over it and lost lovable time because we both like... He don't want me to get nothing in that Lovable time. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovable You said something time. the other day about love strong, and it was one more. Love strong. Hey, your boy's here. He just announced himself, too. Oh, what's up, Tony? Yeah. <laughs> um, you had something to say, didn't you? Hey, hey, um, I think we're going to have to come back next week. Okay. Hey. Because, of that, because of that subject that we was talking about before we pulled up. Oh, oh, there's another subject. Oh, 
that coming And I don't up. think we have enough time nah. to get into oh, that today. Oh, boy. Okay, so that's y'all a, that's already a deep know. It's a deep ready. one. It's get a deep ready. one. So deep tune one. in next week. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. So I don't even know what it is. But it's okay. We got conversation. We can have But, um... Hey Tony, we was uh you just tuned in. We was talking about um combustible uh, conversations. Based on a nutshell, how do you handle things when you're trying to make peace, but you're allowing things to fester in you, like pressure in a pipe, right? Mm. It only builds up so much before eventually, boom. Um, so in certain situations, like have you ever been in one of situations, and how do you handle that? Uh, Ronnie and I had us almost a. We're not, we had a situation that led to this conversation last night, and um, yeah. it was some things that was festering. But like I said, one of the things I love about Ronnie is you don't. I don't have to necessarily check her or say anything because she does a self check on her own. That is phenomenal. I, I've never seen nothing like it. Strong check. Strong check. You know, I'm trying Go, to grow girl. a little. <laughs> self check. Right. Hallelujah for the self check. <laughs> so she um she brought up a situation that was on my mind. And and she we talked it out. She was like, "Babe, you know what? I think this, that, and the other." No, you got to, you got to talk about that because one of the things that I said is a is a problem. It's a problem for people. Period. And one of the things that I was doing was just being negative and negatively adding on to the negativity myself. I was having conversations with myself say it again, say it and adding on to the negativity. And I was putting myself, I was, I was literally in a chat room alone. Like this nigga going to do this to me. Do, 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 do. You know what? He probably felt like that. You know what? I think that he meant, and I'm going, and, and this is going on for days. You know what? We, I, 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 we done had us divorced in a, in the next couple of weeks in my mind. Hey, that's another subject, though. It's, a, it's a problem. Staying in your own head. Staying in your own head. That's what it's, and that's head. what I'm talking about. That <laughs> is a problem. So I'm sitting there going off about what, what is going on and how he felt. I'm, I'm telling myself how he felt. And what he meant, <laughs> and and oh, he ain't gonna say that to me. He ain't said nothing, you know. And I was like, no, no, no. And that's when you have to stop yourself, and you have to check yourself, and you have to say, no, 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 no. Not my marriage. Not my husband. That's not what happened. That's not what he said. I know that ain't what he meant to say. I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping. <laughs> and you gotta look at yourself. We got a couple of comments on the floor. Sometimes the smallest things seem big at the moment. Later on, you realize how small the situation is. Amen, Tony. Uh, and Ebony says, going to have to inbox you, Ronnie, on that self-check thing for myself. <laughs> I will be there for it. So, but yeah, you have you have to check yourself because the stuff that you speak, that's what you're bringing into your life. Mm -hmm. And you're bringing all this negativity in and it's coming from you. Mm -hmm. And your tongue is one of the most powerful things on your body. So you yeah. have to make sure that you are speaking positively and that you are speaking over, even if it is negative. Change that to a positive speak and conversation and speak it over your relationship and speak it over yourself. Because there are some people that watch us that aren't even in a relationship. Speak it over yourself. I know a whole bunch of y'all, I'm be single forever. I done been like this my whole life. Duh, duh, duh. Stop it. <laughs> if that's what you want, fine. But if that's not what you want, then you got to start speaking what you want. Without and you got to believe that. You need to heal. So that was my problem. Yeah, you need some healing. You right. <laughs> that was my problem. And I told I told Dre that. I said, you know what? I was having a whole conversation with myself. And I made this a big, big thing. And it, it really wasn't anything <laughs> at all. And I'm going to check myself on that. I'm going to work on myself yeah, with that. that was, the that Carter. Awesome. The, the Carter 34, how do you get points across in a discussion without making your partner feel that you don't care about their opinion? Need a knee. Hey, oh, okay. Go ahead, James. Need a knee. <laughs> hey, Antoine, what's up, cuz? Um, uh, so, so James and Michelle actually got some, I don't know if you was on here earlier. Um, they had a um, situation that, that Mike can help that, and it's called Need a Knee. And you write down, um, I guess, what's bothering you guys. Mm -hmm. Um, you sit down face to face, looking at knee. knee to knee, <laughs> and the same, and look at each other, and you dis discuss 
Those so, things, right? You speak, and it's a way that you do. You, you, have you to. speak. Mm -hmm. You speak what. What is your issue, mm -hmm. right? And you have them repeat back to you mm -hmm. what was said, what was said mm -hmm. to make sure that they understood mm -hmm. what the problem is. Because we'll say something and they'll hear something different. Mm -hmm. So to know that you are properly communicated what your issue is, have them regurgitated or re repeated back to you. Mm -hmm. And then and you have to tell them how it made you feel. That's it. If the person cares about how you feel, they will address it and speak to it and tell you what their intent was and y'all can get down to the bottom of it. And now that they know how you feel when they do that, they'll be more reluctant or think twice about doing it and y'all will come to a result. That's major. Yeah, that's, that's major. Really, but, mm -hmm. but you know what? I, I'm a, when, as James was speaking, um, I had a situation. So I used to try to do that. And the only reason because I, I felt that, um, not with Ronnie, but I used to feel that when I say things, people used to try to take what I say and turn it, or they misunderstood what I was saying, right? Even though I thought it did on personal. When I used to uh, say things to them, I used to be like, "Do you?" Un I used to tell them, do, "Do you understand what I'm saying? If you don't, let me know so I can try to explain it to you." And I wasn't being smart, but I was kind of doing what they're saying. I'm trying I to be like. I remember you used to do that. Huh? I remember you used to do that when uh, we worked together. You used to do that. Yeah, yeah, so, he, does, he does that. So, yeah, because I, I need. I want to be clear because, like you say, it can be misinterpreted. So I can say something. Somebody can. Say, Man, Dre was talking about such and such. So I, I need to hear how you're hearing it. For mm -hmm. instance, like when Ronnie. When I said what I said, she heard one thing, so I had to be like, "Babe, how? What? How did you take that?" And when she said, "Well, I took it as this, that, and the other," then it gave me opportunity to say, "But no, babe, that's not what I meant." And he made me feel so good inside. <laughs> <laughs> so I had explained to her, you know, how how I meant that. Um, but in the past, when I in the past when I tried to do that, what I got was. I'm not a child. You don't got to explain nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? So one, one thing I want to add to that is you have to be with a willing partner in order for something like this to work. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you can sit there and you're trying to, you know, do That's this thing. True. And if the other person's not open to it, they just like. That's true. Whatever you say. Whatever, I mean, because you, you got, what I just say, um, you, you, you perfect. I mean, you don't make no mistakes anyway. James so. is about to say something compelling. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go. Let him do it. Let him do it. Sure. <laughs> I can always feel like feel the spirit. <laughs> feel the spirit. spirit. One of the issues we that the whole world talks about in relationships and one of the biggest issues is communication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And so and and communication relates to realistically every aspect of your relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't care if it's finances, I don't care if it's your love life. I, if you can't properly orate, if the message, if the intent of your heart isn't being felt right. by your loved one, mm -hmm. right, then you have a breakdown in communication. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What the feeling that you're having isn't being translated to the other person. Mm -hmm. So they don't feel the feeling of your infirmity. They don't understand what's going on. Right. So sitting down, just the two of you. Mm -hmm. No sarcasm. Mm -hmm. Right. See, people who love each other mm -hmm. do this. Mm -hmm. And I'm so serious in that if the person isn't really willing to sit down mm -hmm. and hear your heart mm -hmm. and hear how you feel, mm -hmm. you have another issue. Right, right. right. You, 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 you might have, need to yeah. not be in that relationship. Right, right. There's, there's, right. There's, there, there, there's a... There's, there's a whole nother problem that they don't want to, aren't willing to. Your feelings don't matter. You have a whole. That's a that's a selfishness thing too. Like they only care about themselves. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And if you're on, if you're in a relationship that a person is only seeking for their own fulfillment, mm -hmm. so they're in a one way relationship. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are in one way relationships and are okay with that and because no, they think that's all they deserve. It is totally unhealthy and. If you weren't told that, if you weren't told this, you have a low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. You need deliverance. You need to feel. And you need to have an experience. I'm sorry, with my God, with Jesus Christ, you need to have an experience. You need to know what real love feel like. Mm -hmm. um, 
And so there are things that all I'm saying is you need you go ahead you have a, a a whole nother issue. But if you have someone who cares about you, right. love is expressed. Yeah. If they care, they care to listen. And love is a, a verb. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's an action, action word. word. Yes. It's an action word. Yes. And so that's the expression. So the person that's willing to sit down and listen to you, mm -hmm. the person that's that cares about what you care about and don't want to bring pain to your heart, that's a person that you can make an investment in. And you two can have a future and you can go somewhere. Right. And so, and I know I did. I'm a proponent of the people marrying their best friend. Yeah. 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 It's important. Yeah. So. Mike, what's going on? That was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, guys, tonight we talked about just communication, basically, and building up how things that you hold in, you let fester and build up and explode because you're not communicating with your partner. Of course, we're kind of going a little bit over our time. We That's had, right, but y'all still coming in. And so. y'all still coming in and joining us. Yeah. Um, we had a special guest tonight. Okay, this is James and Mo McAllister. Now, now one of the things that I am a a, a proponent of is having accountability partners. Mm. You guys may have seen a post um, from us, I think this week, about our partners and having people in your life as couples that you can talk to, that you can go to, that will fix your clothes. If your clothes are jacked up, oh, that'll get you yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah. If, <laughs> <laughs> if you are, are out of order, and they're not going to tell you anything wrong. Um, if, if you are trying to do something wrong, they're going to tell you the right thing to do. Um, and, and it will be in regard to fixing, not, you know, releasing. So, um, Try and make sure you guys have accountability partners. If you don't, try and find some that you trust and that you know these are ours and we are thankful for them. Um, thank you guys too. Thank you. <laughs> there uh, yeah, are associates, there's friends, mm -hmm. but there's your circle. This is our circle. Yeah. yeah. Keep your circle. Small, small and strong. Yeah. That's it. It's not about the size of it. It's about the strength. It's about the strength. About the strength of the okay, and, and you um, guys need to do that. Go ahead, baby. So, so this is kind of going off the subject right now, but I, because I'm going to forget. See, so, yeah, actually, um, <laughs> so touching up what Ronnie said, it actually happened today. And I, and I say this all the time about how I don't, you know, men don't have that bond like like, like women. Right, like you guys can go, you know, cry to each other, hug, kiss, or all that stuff, and everything. Be everything, girl. Don't worry about him. He just ice cream, you know, whatever, whatever. Hey, <laughs> guys, we don't like, don't really have that. When you find that, and I can, I can say I know I have three that I, I feel that I can honestly uh, go, go there to. And, and I'm not saying I'm going to go to them crying. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying. I can go then with a heavy heart and I know my heart will be protected. Mm -hmm. um, so I, that's why I say about a circle being small. Um, because everyone is not for your, um, have your best interest at heart. I don't need, if I'm already feeling down, I don't need more negative energy on that situation. I want to go to somebody that's going to help me through this situation. This union here is, is meant to be. I, I don't want it to end. I don't want it to break and I want people around me that it's not going to let my um, emotions, negative mm. emotions, end it. Now, if something's totally wrong and, is, and, and the Lord, you know, says that's it. There's nothing we can do about it. But I, I don't think that's the will be the case with this. So you have to have that tight-knit circle. So females have this thing called a sisterhood or sister circle or whatever y'all call it, right? Sister, sister. sister you're oh, right. Oh, no. What do we have? Nothing. Right? Y'all got a brotherhood. I know a lot of guys that got that brotherhood. I, I, so <laughs> better know. I want. Look at Jay. Here. I would love to. Uh, uh, yeah, we we yeah. so that's what we need. You know what I'm saying? So fellas, come together and be able to understand. Like we hurt too. You know what I'm saying? We go through situations too. We do hurt, ladies. <laughs> we can. We are very vulnerable at times. So. <laughs> We we need that and um and yes it should come from you guys don't get me wrong don't don't get me I'm not saying y'all need to be replaced I mean that's the you know that's where it's supposed to start but sometimes if in a situation where it doesn't that second tier 
it needs to be that circle. Um, now, I don't know who's still on here, but you can always call me um, and, and, and vent. Because sometimes that's all we need. We just need someone to be able to listen. I just want to vent. I need to get this off my chest because she drives me crazy. You can sit there, you scream, holler, whatever. I got some coolers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so now take a swig, whatever. Get it off your chest. Safe space. And when you're done, huh? Safe space. Safe, safe space. Yeah, yeah safe space. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So when you get it out and we laugh and ha ha and he hear about it, go back home and love your wife. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He said somewhat I need true brotherhood like that. Yeah. That's what's up. But for real. Hey, Twan, please don't I'm make me don't call. make me call you. <laughs> Antoine, do not make call. me call you. Don't don't stop talking about stuff. You ain't serious. You know where I'm at and you know my number. Stop it. Mm. <laughs> well. <laughs> that's, that's my cousin. <laughs> anyway, cousin, we love you. <laughs> uh, um, but you know, sometimes he's always gonna be there. Sometimes, he knows when, you, from sometimes when you when you just vent and hear it, yeah, and, and you get it out, mm -hmm. sometimes you answer your own exactly. question. And that's it happens what, for me that's all the time. That's why sometimes <laughs> you, you talk and sometimes you yourself. realize it's not that serious. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Um, sometimes just hearing it mm -hmm. gives you clarity. When we hold yeah. things in, mm. we listen. Listen, our mind mm. is the devil's playground. Mm. Right. Lord listen, have mercy. Listen, we get between our head and our heart, you know, and we hold stuff in, you know, high mm. blood pressure, and then yes, you just start Lord. looking for temporary mm. fixes. Multiple and you, and you, <laughs> and, you do, <laughs> and you do all kind of things. Mm -hmm. Man, get it out. Find somebody you can vent to. Hearing it, getting it off your chest, that alone brings relief. Yeah. It does. Yes. It it letting it out. Pressure. It, releases, it the releases pressure. pressure. Even if you don't have you know anybody, I mean? if you and don't then, have friends, and then you can think clear. You can when, once Let the pressure out. is released, you can think clear. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes and so, yep. and so, and then it's even just that much more if you have somebody who's listening mm -hmm. that can give you real positive strength mm -hmm. and and back what you need. Right. You don't want someone that's gonna keep you stewing in that same thing right. and building on it. So, you know, be careful who you talk to, mm -hmm. but find somebody to vent to and just, and then huh. for real, for real, if you real, you can get quiet and let the Holy Spirit speak back to you. Mm -hmm. So we just had someone come and say she writes in a journal. That's, that's exactly what I was going to say. She writing. Said, Cause she said, don't, she don't trust people. Writing. Ooh. Cause that's what I said. I there are, write. there are mm -hmm. some people that don't want to talk to people right. and they don't want to vent. And writing is, is a great oh my, it's very it therapeutic. is therapeutic. Yeah. And, That's and another thing, thing yeah. that I used to do, now I know this might seem strange to y'all, but I would get coloring books and it would be these big in detail coloring books and I would just color. Because it releases your it mind. It releases your mind, just, yeah. your mind and it just gives you this mm -hmm. zen feeling and you're just like, wow, you know, and it feels great. Um, and if you don't have people to talk to, if you don't trust people, if you don't wish to talk to people, writing is the best thing you can do. Write it, rip it up, and let it go. You know, get it out. I, I, I go to God. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it 100. Praying? For, for, for yeah. me. For right. me. But my writing is no, going to God. Writing well, is going to God. God. Yeah, writing. all of that. For, for me. It makes you feel. So, she uh, said it makes you feel so much better to color. For, it does. <laughs> for, me, is awesome. for me, it is awesome. For me, having other things to do mm -hmm. are coping mechanisms. Mm -hmm. Where you're finding ways to get past, to get through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but some people don't have things I, to I, do. Yeah, I, I have to write it. It's therapeutic to me, but right. it reaches God. It, because it's in my heart, and what's in my heart makes it to the paper, mm -hmm. and God sees all things. So it's like, yeah. it's just like, because at the end, you're ending it with, in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Pray, you know, our dear Amen. Father. So you're speaking directly to the source. Yeah. Now, yeah. guys, we have been on longer than our normal time. So <laughs> you've been great. Yes. This has been a great, yeah. great, great. This is where we've been trying to get to, me. things like this. You and know what I'm saying? we will be coming on next week, and... We may have this couple with us again, and I'm hoping so. Um, what we are trying to do is bring on different couples and have conversations. So, again, you guys are welcome to get in contact with us and let us know that you're trying to come through. We're trying to figure out how to get this straight so they don't have to stand through this entire thing. Mark, we're going to fix it. Mark <laughs> we the calendar. I'm serious. Next week topic 
It's a doozy. Oh yeah, boy, yeah. y'all. Come on. <laughs> Next week, Tuesday, right. 7 30. We love y'all. We thank y'all for joining us. Thank the McAllisters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so very welcome. We love you guys so much. Paul, what, uh, what's the name of the barbershop? Paul's Barbershop. Good Paul's job, Barbershop man. off St. Barnabas of Y'all in the DMV. You, That's you, what be getting me tight. You're lunching. You're tripping. It's on Marble Pike. It's not Pike. St. Barnabas. It's Marble Pike. What would I say? By the old running shoe. Yeah, by the Mar old running shoe. It's by Mar the old running shoe. The other St. Barnabas, which is Marble Pike. <laughs> yeah, next to the carry out. Wow. Yeah, you're terrible, man. We Ooh. love y'all. Right. So, um, yeah, and it's getting late. That's why I'm tripping. But. Yeah, he's tripping. That's where he is. You want to get tight? Go see my man. As for James. Um, yeah, next Tuesday, y'all. It's good. It's, yeah, next Tuesday. It's on. <laughs> Fellas, hey, come in. Hey, fellas, tune in. Tune in. If you all the fellas, tune in. Brotherhood started. It's yeah. a hot topic. Yeah. Nice. And if you guys miss it, if you can't tune in, go subscribe to our YouTube page at the Dre and Row Show, and it will be uploaded on there after, just like this video will be too. All right. See y'all. All right. Peace. Bye bye.